Good morning. Um, this is actually the third time I'm trying to record this intro. Um, first time I had someone come knock on my window, which was just great. Um, and I'm on the side of the road here, um, just at a spot where we're going to check out. And so there's loads of cars and all sorts of other drama. But yeah, so I'm, what is the time? It is just before 9am in the morning. We are here going to try to get after some critically endangered dwarf burring skinks. Uh, as you would have seen in some of my other videos, uh, there's quite a range and um, diversity of species. Some with limbs, some with no limbs, some with two limbs, some with four limbs. So a really interesting genus. Um, we're going to get after the, them at this little spot here. It's pretty much going to be only the Scalotes. There's nothing else that I'm really looking for here and nothing that I've really seen here um, before either. So Let's get to it, and I'm going to check in, and I'm hopefully going to show you guys a bunch of scalotes that we get. So these are our vital tools, which we're going to use to find some of these dwarf burring skinks. Um, just a bag to put something in if we find something. A little uh, scuffle or a little handrake just to dig through some of the substrate because there's a lot of trash here, a lot of broken glass and metal, which I don't want stabbing me. Ziploc bag, again, just to put something in temporarily while um, we photograph them, and just a plastic lid from a tub just so we can throw the sand in because these things drop their tail really easily. Cool, we are gonna get after it. So I don't really want to give this spot away um, because these animals are quite sensitive, but most of the spot that I'm hitting here today is severely overgrown um, so it's going to be pretty difficult and I see they've done a lot of building and a lot of clearing but most of this vegetation there should be some cover amongst it I'm gonna have to walk through it and find some stuff to flip just a big old chunk of concrete here let's see if there's anything under here just gotta scrape in the sand sometimes. No luck this time. But we're getting back into the good stuff now. Lumps of concrete. They're just layered and layered with trash of like all different sizes and sorts. digging this loose soil amongst these sort of matted roots is generally where they like to hang out so these are always good good opportunities so here we go um, that didn't take long at all the grass like I was saying it's really sort of overgrown and long um, and it's quite damp now being winter but I just flipped this chunk of concrete and we've got our first scalotes you can see what I've got this um, container for they just go absolutely mental when they're out of the soil. Um, this is quite a nice specimen actually. He's got a full original tail, but I'm going to just bag him up really quickly and put him in the little Ziploc bag I showed you guys earlier, just so I can carry on flipping some other trash and then hopefully um, get a couple of photographs of them and get a bit clearer video in some natural habitat. This here's just a look at this um, Durban Dwarf Burring Skink in hand. You can see it's got absolutely no limbs. You can see there's right where his sort of tail starts and his vent. They've got obviously movable eyelids, oh, if it focuses, like most, most lizards do. And you can see this is a fully grown adult with a full tail, which is really nice. They usually have these sort of really ugly looking truncated tails. But yeah, that was, this is the first one of the day. I've only been here a couple of minutes. Um, and if it keeps going like this, we shouldn't be too much longer. And it actually will be quite a short video. But I'm going to carry on and hopefully turn up a few more. You can see they've got those long serpentine bodies. Um, and pretty much just over half of the body is actually tail. So they're just incredible lizards that are sort of eking out a really difficult sort of living in this sort of environment where everything is just, I mean, there's houses on either side of where I am. Most of the ground here is being plowed up for housing and development. So 
that's why these guys are unfortunately and critically endangered you can see just a bit of size reference again they they're pretty small and insignificant so most people don't don't really care too much about them and pretty much not much is known about their breeding and reproduction either so we don't know too much about them there's tons of these scrappy pieces of concrete and we're just going to gently sort of just work the substrate they like this um, dried sand particularly under cover like against these fences and walls and that sort of stuff but we're gonna keep going well after all those flip clips of trying to see another one um, just turned up another little Durban dwarf barring skink um, just under this sort of mass of trash and grass and as you can see anywhere in the world at the moment I think you're gonna go you're gonna see these disposable masks which is pretty gross but um, yeah that's that wasn't a bad that wasn't a bad time I only saw two but it's starting to heat up here yeah, quite a bit so with the fossorial stuff once it heats up it's it's pretty useless they uh, deep dive far into the substrate so we're probably not gonna see any more so I'm gonna call it um, call it it for the spot today and that's it so this is just a a short video just detailing um these critically endangered skinks i thought i'd give them a bit of show time um but cool thanks so much for watching and i will catch you probably the week after next for another full-length video